Hi guys, it's Med by Health Hush. In today's video, we'll be speaking about acute appendicitis in children. Usually, why children are at high risk for developing acute appendicitis is because uh, they are having several anatomical and physiological characteristics uh, which make them at high risk. So if we see uh, here the reasons, we can see that the appendix is longer and wider uh, comparatively uh, to adults and also these appendix are uh, weakly expressed with lymph follicles which make them um, uh, which makes their immunity imperfect and uh, low and it's incomplete and also their nervous apparatus is also incomplete and the peritoneum in children is underdeveloped and I will explain uh, why it's uh, in more detail when we come to this table. So uh, these patients have an underdeveloped peritoneum and because of all these reasons they are, they are low resistant towards any infection which occurs in them. So if you see here in this table uh, first of all in infants usually this condition is a uh, very rarely seen in patients under age of three and uh, most of the cases uh, of acute appendicitis in these children 80% uh, of the cases will be complicated uh, with perforation and they will have diffuse peritonitis and uh, there is a very high mortality rate and only 50% of these infants will survive uh, till their first birthday and so in these patients there is a rapid onset of uh, diffuse peritonitis why is because the peritoneum is underdeveloped as i said and where here we can see that the greater omentum is short and underdeveloped and because of this the greater omentum is unable to uh, localize the infection because it is unable to localize the infection towards some one area uh, it goes and diffuse into the full peritoneum causing diffuse peritonitis and also usually in infants uh, they, they can also have uh, enteritis and we should uh, be able to differentiate it uh, acute appendicitis from enteritis and also we should keep in mind that acute appendicitis can also complicate into enteritis and also uh, acute appendicitis also associates with acute respiratory infections and exanthemas uh, in infants. So if you see the clinical symptoms uh, and signs for, um, for infants, uh, this includes usually change of behavior in the child and um, there are sleep disturbances and the child is always crying and too much crying and is not going to sleep likewise um, a change of behavior and in children uh, usually uh, the incident rate in children is high uh, between the age of six to eight years old and also usually these children uh, children present with vomiting complete aversion of food and they do not uh, sleep when they're having an attack and also at an early stage of the disease we can see that the bowel sounds are absent in the child and if you see uh, if you see like the urgent surgeries the most common urgent surgeries among children uh, is for appendicitis is uh, is the most uh, common um, surgeries that children undergo and uh, in case of older children it is uh, usually similar to adults the signs and symptoms are similar and if we see the clinical symptoms we can see that the patient can have cramping pain in the stomach fever vomiting and the child usually lies on his right side or back bringing his leg to his stomach and also uh, uh, he or she can keep his hand on uh, his right iliac region preventing the medical profession from examining uh, the patient so um, if you see the diagnostics 
uh, diagnosis is usually done by physical examination, palpation and percussion and in uh, palpation uh, usually in babies done during sleep uh, because um, they're easy to handle when they're in sleep and we can see uh, hyperesthesia, muscle tension and tension, tenderness uh, in the right uh, lower quadrant of the patient and the percussion causes pain in the patient and also the a child is unable to walk or uh, has difficulty in walking and the patient will have cough and if we ask the patient to jump down or from a stair or like do a jump it creates pain in this patient because it's a way of uh, finding uh, whether the it's a technique of finding whether the patient is having rebound tenderness uh, rebound tenderness it's a technique which is done for children and if we do blood tests, we can see high leukostosis in these children. And also we can do ultrasound test uh, for, uh, for confirming the diagnosis of acute appendicitis in the child. And if we see for uh, treatment, uh, in non-perforated cases of acute appendicitis, we simply do antibiotic coverage for 24 for 48 hours. And for perforated versions, we should do immediate uh, appendectomy and uh, irrigation of peritoneal cavity with saline solution and we can also do transperitoneal drainage and also we should give uh, intravenous antibiotics uh, to the child till the white blood cells uh, count becomes normal and what kind of antibiotics we usually give we can give quintomycin ampicillin and gentamicin and also we should make sure that the patient is a febrile uh, a febrile for 24 hours Yes, so that's it for acute appendicitis in children. I hope you guys enjoyed. Thank you.